All right, welcome back to the Sports Wrap with Andy Gresh. Patriots, Bills, should the Pats win, they'd ensure at least a share of the division. They'd get their 10th win. Mm -hmm. Any reason to believe Buffalo will make this close? No, nah, they might make it close now. Now, you know my thoughts on the Buffalo Bills. If they have a chance to, you know, flush it down the old toilet, they will <laughs> because that's the Bills. However, I do think there are some interesting matchups, and they shipped out Marcel Darius to Jacksonville. It's helped Jacksonville's run defense, and for the first time since moving, Darius, they actually put together a representative mm. run defensive effort in slowing down uh, the Kansas City Chiefs last week. But I think the Patriots are going to throw a lot of different things at them that I don't know Buffalo can handle. How do they match up with Gronk? Brandon, excuse me, uh, Brandon Cooks is now becoming right. a guy where in the play action game, he can hit you deep and then dealing with the running back. So I think the Bills want to play aggressive. Some of what Carolina did, I think, is what some of Buffalo is going to do in terms of trying to take away those flats. But it's really going to be on those Buffalo defensive linemen to try to control the Patriots run game. And I think ultimately the Pats will wear them down. Uh, with that win over Miami last week, the Patriots ensured a 17th straight winning season. Is this a record we'll ever see again? No. No, in the free agent era, I don't think so. And look, maybe Philadelphia's got a chance to make a little run here. But let's remember, the amount of patience coming from the ownership of this organization has been, well, I mean, never really seen in the NFL. Now, I know you're winning, and it's easy to keep a guy like Bill Belichick around, but there have been a lot of teams that have been winning where a coach is unplugged or they have a bad year, and it's, well, now it's the time for the change. Mm. So I think it starts with ownership. you got to have a special head coach, and I mentioned Philadelphia. I think with Carson Wentz, they could do it. I don't know if Doug Peterson is going to be a 17, 18, 18 year head coach in one spit in one place so a lot of things have really come together to allow this run of success and longevity let's get your pick for Patriots bill Sunday you know I'm really waffling on this and I'm gonna say right now I think it's gonna be 28 20 Patriots where the score might not be indicative of the way the game is really played but I can see Buffalo finding a way to hang close look that ain't an easy place to play mm. you got 95 year old ladies out there <laughs> mooning the buses you've got all these idiots and Bill's Mafia lighting tables on fire and power bombing people through it like it's a holiday at Petraka's house for crying out loud I mean I, it's a weird place to go yeah. play, so I think they find a way to keep it close. What was that Tom Brady stat we were talking about before? Uh, Tom Brady has a chance. Let me see it. Well, there's the touchdown stat where he throws the two. The most wins. Yeah, at, at, and then there's the most wins at Ralph Wilson Stadium for a quarterback, even though he's visiting. Yeah. I mean, it, Fitzpatrick. I mean, look, the Patriots have, have been the hammer, and the Bills have been a willing nail for the past 20 years. Do you think this has been a less than compelling NFL season? The four o'clock window, the Sunday night, Monday night. Third, do you feel like you need no. to have your tush in the in the sofa watching NFL this year? Uh, look, I'll be the I'll be the first one to admit I DVR a lot of stuff and, and go back and watch to try to work around things. Plus, I like having the copy to go back and take a look at. But for me, I think it's been a great year. We've seen Jacksonville and Tennessee sort of plant their flag and say, okay, we're teams to watch in the AFC. We had the whole Eli Manning mess. Who knows where he's going to end up? Right. Hey, what if he's in Denver next year? You know, then that changes the Broncos around completely. You know, we've seen that AFC West sort of sort itself out. We've seen how LA has reacted yeah. to having two teams there. New England is good once again. People are still trying to figure that out. Can Pittsburgh play great? Is Philadelphia for real? Do I need to keep going? This season has not been terrible, even though people want the Patriots to play a bunch of division games that are th three to seven point games for no reason. Would you make a Mike Tomlin on Sunday Night Football, Football Night in America, telling Tony Dungy he's already thinking about not only the Patriots game in three weeks, but their second game, which would be the AFC Championship? It is consistent with who they are as an organization. And part of the reason why Pittsburgh will go on the road to Indianapolis, a terrible team, and play a three point game where they got to win in overtime or with a field goal at the end of the game is because that's the way they think. It's not a week-to-week -week organization, and that's okay. They can do it their way because the head coach buys into it. However, that's why they have that lack of right. consistency and the inability to be able to get over the hump. Again, I'll go back to Belichick not pulling Brady out. You can go back to October of 2007 that people in the media have chronicled. He was saying the exact same thing. It's about 
finishing. Mm. That's why Bill Belichick hammers that. That's why his teams can finish and other teams are up and down with it. All right, before I let you go, I know Saturday you'll be at the high school games up at Gillette, but a big one down in Kingston. Who you got URI PC basketball? Yeah, I, I'm going to go with URI in part because they're at home, but it's great that we're sitting here talking about Ocean State basketball and the fact that URI and PC are so good that the joint is already banged out, that it's now become a real rivalry once again. We'll see if the Cartwright kid can kind of carry them over the over the top. I know Fats Russell had a good night the other yeah. night. No EC Matthews, so that's going to be, you know, there's some injuries on each side. But at the end of the day, it really comes down to that half-court execution and the yeah. blood and guts basketball with four minutes to go. Is Fats Russell the greatest name going? That's pretty good, I got to say. <laughs> it's either that or a news anchor. I mean, come on. Can you imagine that? You know, Fats Shannon Heggie and Fats Russell. It's like That's a nut, awesome. it, yeah, it sounds like Burgundy sidekick. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds Russell. like it should be the name of the sports guy. Like whenever <laughs> you go Greek on to name. bigger and better things, they'll they'll add Fats yeah. Russell to be the sports dude. All right, Andy Gresh in every Thursday on the Sports Wrap. We'll see you New England Nation on Sunday and the Patriot Wrap Sunday night. Hear them every night, WPRO 6 to 9. Much more from this Sports Wrap coming up right after this.